Leaf spot lesions appear as small purplish spots on leaves and then they can be surrounded by chlorotic rings or yellow rings. Each lesion is caused by a single spore. As the number of lesions increase on leaves and the infection progresses, the leaf begins to turn yellow as shown here. Eventually, these leaves will turn fully yellow as shown here and then these yellow leaves will defoliate. We look down on the ground of this tree already, early in the season, we're in mid-June, we see already a lot of defoliated leaves on the floor of the orchard. This tree's already, even though it doesn't appear so, it's already suffered significant amounts of defoliation. The key diagnostic for cherry leaf spot infection is visual, visualization of spore masses on the underside of leaves. So we're looking at this leaf here. We can see the, the leaf spot lesions on the upper side of the leaf. As we turn that leaf over, we can see white spore masses associated with each of these leaf spots. So that's that again is a diagnostic. That tells you that, yes, these lesions are cherry leaf spot lesions, number one, and number two, that pathogen is sporulating and these spores are ready to be disseminated by rain and wind to a healthy tissue where they can infect healthy tissue. There are two other diseases that co-occur on tart cherry leaves that we can distinguish from cherry leaf spot infection. One of these is bacterial canker. Bacterial canker caused by Pseudomonas syringae, a plant pathogenic bacterium, it produces larger lesions on leaves compared to leaf spots. So these large lesions here and here can be differentiated from the smaller lesions that are caused by cherry leaf spot in two ways. One, bacterial canker lesions oftentimes will produce a shot hole effect in which the lesion eventually falls out of the leaf. And number two, if you turn that leaf over, there's no sporulation associated with the bacterial canker lesions, but the cherry leaf spot lesions have white spore masses on the undersides. You can see that this leaf is in the process of turning yellow and it's going to drop and that's caused by the leaf spot infection which is much more important on tart cherry uh, than bacterial canker. Okay, a second disease uh, of importance on tart cherry that's distinguished from cherry leaf spot is a viral problem called cherry yellows. Cherry yellows causes leaves to turn yellow and defoliate off trees. Again, this is caused by a virus. Uh, you can distinguish that from leaf spot if you're looking at leaves in that typically a cherry yellow's leaf will not have any lesions while leaves that are yellowing from leaf spot will have many leaf spot lesions on them. Also when we see cherry yellows it usually only occurs in a branch or a couple branches on individual trees. It's, it's fairly sporadic in occurrence. However, both cherry yellows and leaf spot are significant defoliators of tart cherry trees.